Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this EVGA Supernova Next 1500 Classified Power Supply. Let's start off with a closer look at the box for some of this power supply's features. It's 80 plus gold certified, which means it can achieve uh, up to and beyond 90% efficiency at different power loads. It is fully 100% modular. There's a quick layout of all of the modular plugs. Here is some words indicating that EVGA is number one at everything. And then finally, on the back here, we have all the detailed specs. I'm not going to go over all these, but um, just a few of them, because this power supply can do some special stuff that most power supplies can't. First off, it can overclock. Uh, it can go up to 1,650 watts. If you know anything about electrical stuff, and uh, I know a little bit, but not a lot, but essentially 1,500 watts is the peak you can get out of the standard US outlet at 120 volts. Uh, you can do a 240 volt Outlets, uh, you need some special hardware, uh, for instance, the same type of stuff that you use to hook up like a washing machine or a dryer that needs more, um, more wattage. Uh, but bear that in mind, on a typical outlet, you can only hit up to 1500, but if you have a special outlet, or if you live in a country that does the 240 volt thing, then um, you can go higher than the 1500 watt weight rating. Uh, some other stuff in the pictures here, your power bar, a little, little grabber handle there, nice sturdy handle. Uh, you get some switches, little dip switches on the back of the power supply. You can flip those on and off to do a few special things like switching between single rail and multi-rail mode. Fully modular, as mentioned, it individually sleeved cables will look really nice. You get a 12 gauge EVGA power cord, really heavy duty. Special plug on that as well to make sure that you don't accidentally try to plug in one of your little crappy AWG cables that you get with a, a much lower wattage power supply power supply. Finally, uh, EVGA Supernova UI. You can actually use a USB cable that's uh, supplied to plug the power supply into your motherboard to transmit some information there. You can use the EVGA software to do a bunch of cool stuff, monitoring, changing voltage, uh, setting your fan curves, and that sort of thing. Let's get into the retail box. Inside the box we have two smaller boxes, and uh, my apologies, these have already been opened. Some vultures cruised in as soon as this power supply arrived and wanted to check everything out. So um, here first off is that 12 gauge super heavy duty power cord. Again, it's got a little proprietary plug there to plug into the power supply itself. This is different from your standard uh, power supply power plug. And then uh, other side is your standard AC adapter plug. In here we have cables, we have more cables, we have more cables. I'm going to come back to the cables. And we also have a little sleeve pouch, which I believe, yes, has some Velcro here. Uh, so you can use that to uh, store the cables that you're not using, since this is a 100% modular power supply. You will probably use some, but not all of them. Here is some information on the 1500-watt multi-rail configuration. So uh, again, some extra info there. Um, depending on the mode you have it set in, you get uh, 20 amps per rail, but you can, again, switch that around to get more amps, and then you can even switch it into a single uh, rail mode, again, with those dip switches on the back. More information on, the, on that in the user's guide right there, so there's just a quick look. Get a color user's manual that will sort of walk you through the ins and outs of the power supply, and uh, let's go ahead and look at the cables. All right, guys, I think I have all the cables wrangled up here, and EVGA was kind enough in the manual to indicate the cable length for each of these. So from the plug that goes in the power supply to the first plug, and I'll be uh, listing that off for you guys as I go over these. But first, uh, one last little accessory I forgot. These are just some little oval rubber feet that you can pop out and stick to the power supply to reduce vibration if it's up against the middle part of the case. You also get, of course, the USB cable extension, so uh, simply a mini USB on one side and a uh, motherboard USB header on the other, so you can plug that into the power supply and help that communicate with your motherboard so you can make use of the monitoring and uh, software functions. They've included uh, one little adapter cable here, this is just Molex to twin floppy plugs, and um, if you happen to have need of an older floppy plug, you've got that covered. They've also included some EVGA cable ties, Velcro, uh, throughout, so it's very nice to have those. It helps a lot with cable management, and I like those because they're really easy to reuse and adjust cables as you're tying everything down. Here are your PCI Express power cables, and they're fairly unique. Well, all these cables are pretty unique in that they're sleeved, so uh, you'll notice there's no heat shrink right here. They're sleeved all the way up to the plug itself, and um, 
Well, it just looks nicer for one, but also gives you a lot more flexibility, especially towards the plug. And um, for the PCI Express cables, they actually have a separate lead going off here with your little extra two pinners. So if you happen to be plugging in six pin power connectors like these, uh, you don't need those extra little two pin guys hanging off of there. You can just tuck that away somewhere else. So that's pretty handy. Uh, for your PCI Express cables, you get a total of eight of these. Um, each of them splits into two six pin PCI Express or eight pin PCI Express plugs right there. So that actually gives you a total of 16 PCI Express plugs, which is a pretty crazy amount. They come in two different lengths, uh, 750 millimeters and 600 millimeters. So um, you get four of each uh, ranging in length, and that should help you plug in a crazy amount of um, video cards. And apologies for a, an awkward little crossfade here, but I needed to come back to make a correction because uh, these are your supplemental CPU power connectors, right? So you have two of these that plug into the power supply. They lead over to a 12-volt uh, EPS power connector here for supplemental CPU power on your motherboard. And uh, each of these has some extra leads coming off of it that say VGA, which uh, was my initial interpretation was that meant those were PCI Express connectors. They are PCI Express connectors. They're actually made specifically for CPU supplemental power. So you'll see that on some motherboards. They'll give you uh, an EPS connector there, and then they'll say uh, to provide more juice to the CPU for overclocking or whatnot, they'll give you some extra connectors. And I've seen a variety of different methods of doing that. These are specifically designed to plug into the motherboard to provide supplemental CPU power. And uh, one of these leads gives you two of those, and then this other one here gives you an extra one. And the cable length on these is 750 millimeters. Um, bear in mind that the 8-pin CPU connector is keyed differently than the 8-pin PCI Express connector, like that one right over there. So don't try to wedge that into a video card if you're going to use the black cables for something. Anyway, you get two CPU leads, so you can power a, a motherboard that has up to two 8-pin uh, CPU connectors. Also, of course, you get your main motherboard connector, again, completely sleeved all the way up to the plug itself and no heat shrink. Uh, so there's your 24-pin motherboard power connector, and that one is, assuming I can find my place, 750 millimeters again for the cable length on that one. Uh, next up, we have peripheral connectors, and I've done a little group of them right there. Uh, so for serial ATA, you get a total of four of these. Uh, so you get two that are 650 millimeters, one that's 550 millimeters, and one that's 450 millimeters. And all these cables have a single plug on that end that goes into the power supply, and then it routes into three serial ATA connectors, as you can see right there. And then uh, lastly, we have some Molex connectors. And for Molex, you get two of these. Each of them uh, routes into four Molex plugs. The cable length on this is 550 millimeters. And here's the next 1500 power supply itself, which comes in a nice little pouch to keep it protected. And uh, there it is. As you can see, it has a power bar up here at the top, which uh, makes it a lot easier to carry around because this is a very, fairly heavy power supply. And uh, this being a power bar, I would assume that it gets smaller as you take damage. The power supply itself is covered in a flat black textured uh, case, which uh, looks pretty beefy. It's got a 110 millimeter uh, fan right there. It's going to draw air in. So uh, EVGA recommends that you point that down, particularly if the power supply is mounted at the bottom of your case, so it can draw in cool air. Uh, but different configurations will require different setups. I did want to show you guys the power chart right there on the side. Uh, again, there's a couple different modes you can set this in, but uh, by default it comes configured in multi-rail mo mode, which gives you eight individual 12-volt rails. And uh, there's your entire chart to take a look at right there, as well as, of course, the 80 plus gold specification, your EVGA Supernova Next 1500 classified uh, logoing, which is on either side. So um, actually the entire power chart's on either side. So whichever way you have this flipped, you'll be able to reference that and show people that you have this power supply. Taking a look here at our modular connectors at the back, they are all labeled. I'm holding this upside down, so it might help if I go this way. There we go. So you have all these labeled. Uh, again, the red ones here are going to be for your VGA connectors. Uh, you got CPU connectors up here, motherboard, 
your peripheral SATA connectors, and then your additional peripheral Molex connectors down there. You have uh, the mini USB uh, plug right there, and that's for that extension cable that you route over to your motherboard. That will enable uh, the software monitoring and overclocking features. And uh, again, since this is a multi-rail design and this is such a high wattage power supply, um, EVGA is recommending that you go with single rail mode if you're going with a multi-GPU solution. So if you're going to be setting up, for instance, SLI or Crossfire X, uh, single rail is going to be better for that just to make sure that you don't overload any single rail. And a nice little feature here um, that I kind of already showed you guys, but it's a little chart that they give you. Just in case you're not really sure uh, which connectors are going to go to what rail, this, this is a basic configuration diagram. So a couple different options here if you're going to be using multi-rail mode, which are going to be the best plugs to use to make sure that you don't happen to overload a single rail. Also, you'll notice down here a little dip switch configuration, and uh, I'm going to go over those right now because... That's a pretty cool feature. So here on the back, we have a sticker that says read the manual first. And under that, flip this over, we have dip switches. So uh, number five there is basically enabling or disabling these dip switch and they um, come in the off mode by default. Uh, and then the number four will force the fan to 100% if you turn it on. If you have it off, it'll uh, put the fan in PWM mode. Number three will enable single rail operation uh, if you have it off, it will be in multi-rail mode. Uh, if you have number two on, it will enable that OC mode 1000, for 1,650 watts of output. Bear in mind, you do need that uh, higher voltage uh, connector in your home in order to do that. And then uh, switch position number one will allow you to uh, turn the power supply on without it being connected to the motherboard. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the EVGA Supernova Next 1500 Classified 1500 watt power supply. And in case I didn't mention that EVGA is backing this up with a 10 year manufacturer warranty, just make sure you register within 30 days of purchase. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, you can find more on our Newegg YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe while you're there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.